everybody, this is Matt Gay for Geek Pride at uh, Play Expo 2014, and I'm here with Mike. Hi, right, nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, and what's the game we're going to be playing today? Uh, this is Wolf the Blade for Xbox One, uh, but we're also released on PS4 and PC. And uh, is this a game that is out now, or is it coming out? Would you? Uh, well, we were hoping for a Christmas release, but uh, unfortunately, indie game development time schedules. We're now looking at about March, April time next okay. year. So far, which as you can see, it looks pretty awesome. Um, Thank you. Basic, basic sort of game to pick up. Yeah, it's uh, it's very much like your Streets of Rage, Final Fight, Golden Axe. So it's a kind of a hark back to the classics of old. Uh, like combos, etc. Yeah, very much. So it's a very simple gameplay system. I mean, we've we've spent the best part of a year refining the gameplay mechanic to feel just like those classics. So while we've got a modern veneer on it. It feels, when you're playing it, like right now, it feels like the old game, so you've got that. So can you talk us through what's going on here, how, they're, how it's going on? Yeah, right now, I mean, this what we've got at the show today is an arena mode. Uh, now, the arena modes are designed, were originally designed just for shows, just to get people, give them an idea of the gameplay. The actual game itself is an eight-level uh, eight uh, campaign, which is story-driven. And what's, what's the story behind it? The story is all about, it's all rooted in actual British history. So it's about the time around 120 AD when the Romans invaded Britain. And uh, Rome never managed to conquer the north of Britannia, which is modern day Scotland. Yeah, yeah. And this is the story of what is essentially the Scots battle against the Romans. Although they weren't Scots then, they were fellow Britons. Wow. The Picts and things like that. Yeah, yeah, they got called the Picts later on, but back in the original time we were all just Britons basically. Oh yeah, it's so like up Caledonia and stuff. I think there was a... I did, I did a military history degree, so ah, I was like, uh, um, they had, well, there was one emperor who managed to sort of kind of go up north, but he didn't, um, he, like you said, he didn't manage to conquer the whole of, uh, of the north. No, but he, he, I can't remember his name now, it's going to be annoying. Uh, embarrassingly, I've been here two days and my head's melted, and I'm, this is terrible because I've done my research. <laughs> Agricola. Yes. Agricola. There Agricola March North. He you're learning there. here, you're learning here. Yeah, I, I, I've really done my history, I've really done my history. So are you a bit of a history geek yourself? Yeah, big time. I mean, I won't bore you with the history details, but uh, it's, it's all based on real history. So we mix in some uh, native island law, which is kind of almost lost now to the pages of history. Um, so there's there's a lot to be learned in the game as well. You know, it's an action game, and that's what its, fo it's focus is. But it's all anchored to our actual heritage. So it's basically a subversive way to make you learn. Oh no! Ah uh, no, it's not e-learning. It's not e-learning. Don't worry, don't worry. All right, chaps, how's it going? Let's what are you doing? Yeah, it's fun. Really action, smooth. Graphics are great. You just killed me. Oh no, you haven't. At least like me, mate, Gaz. So, so controls wise, how's it going, Gears? Yeah, it's going great. Uh, easy to pick up. Uh, uh, what these games feels like. Feel the controls feel like they should do. And he's just been knocked over. He's just cl clobbered that guy. It's not hitting me. It's fucking knocking me out here. Yeah. You're, you're barbarians, so you know. That's, you're hitting me again. Oh, no love lost in the Geek Pride camp here. Uh, no, I mean, we were. Xbox One will be the first release, um, and then PlayStation 4 and PC will be coming very shortly after. And then, is, I'm guessing there's room to expand this in the other areas and stuff? Yeah, I mean, the story is its quite expansive for a game of this genre. Uh, the story is very character-driven, and uh, the story ends on a note which will allow us to, exp to carry on with the story again. Uh, thing, I really like games like this, so just sort of like... You don't have to put a lot of thought into them. They're quite pretty. You can just sit there and you can just bash the buttons. That's what it's all guys. about. Yeah, I mean, there is actually a few people have commented this weekend, which has been fantastic, about it's not just a button masher. Um, button mashing is part of it. That's the job. Yeah, you can actually pick the head up. Pick the head up. Pick the head up. There you go. Um, we'll be expanding on that as well, yeah, so it'll brilliant. be more gory. That's um, brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> Now, yeah, so basically that story mode is everything that the game's all about. I mean, it's all about uh, Karadik, this is the main character here, and it's his battle to protect the northern tribes from the oncoming Roman invasion. And uh, he rallies the tribes together to fight against them. And now, history still to this day doesn't know why the Romans never made it to the north. Uh, there are a number of different viewpoints on what happened there. Historians have debated it for years, and I take one of those angles. From what I've been told, I was like, back, back to the history thing, uh, I saw a documentary on it, it's like the north apparently wasn't very centralized, whereas like England, what is England and Wales, what Britain was, was very sort of, it had, it had hierarchy, it had sort of like a tribal hierarchy, whereas in the north, it was small, little 
uh, tribes, they didn't have a leader who could be bargained with and stuff. Well, and it actually, uh, I don't want to sound like I'm trying to contradict you now, but uh, actually the opposite. Uh, the whole country, almost our country was kind of like a bunch of different countries. Each tribe was very, very individual, uh, almost like its own country in itself. And uh, the, that's the reason why the Romans defeated us so quickly, was because our tribes individually were incredibly strong, but they never united. So they had no, no central leadership. That's why each tribe got flattened very quickly. Uh, the theory is that in the north, uh, basically the, the Romans liked to fight on an open battleground. The Britain, when they came here, was not about 90% forestry. And they don't like fighting in forests. And they never made it to clear the, the northern forests. So that's kind of the theory that they never made it to conquer the north because it was just too much of a wild wilderness. That makes plausible sense. Yeah. The biggest tribe was in the north. It was the Brigantes. That's like northwest Britain. And we were massive. We were the most badass tribe there was. You're learning every day, Geek Pride. You're learning every day. No, no, no. Hey, man, I love it. This is Geek Pride. Nothing's boring when it comes down here. So what's this happened, Kirsten? And, um, well, he killed me. Why did, why did you kill him? I'm a barbarian, what do you expect? <laughs> Another couple of features that's worth mentioning as well. In the campaign mode, you've obviously got your big bosses, and they're like real big screen fillers, big, real big, big buggers. And when you go into battle, you have your pack of wolves with you as well. Now, they stay at the beginning of the level, and if you get into real deep shit, basically, in the battle, you can call your wolves in once, and the camera pans back, the wolves come pounding on screen, they dive onto the enemies, and they quite graphically tear them to pieces. <laughs> Bro, it's all about graphically tearing people to pieces, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Ah, you're, you're both dead. Yeah. And I think that's a good that's a good place to end it. Both of our, uh, our warriors are dead. So, all in all, what do you think? Uh, I'll definitely buy it on the Xbox. Great game, fantastic. Yeah, nice. Thank you very much. Guys. Definitely going to buy it. Yeah. Well, Mike, it's been an absolute pleasure. This looks amazing. Really impressed. I love your history. Yeah, Thank yeah, you very brilliant. Much, guys. Yeah, we love a history geek around here. Geek pride. Matt Geary, Len, Gearson, and Mike. Expo 2014. See you later.